Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music wherever it may be found. I'm Josh, and we're once again back in the downtown Las Vegas Arts District and local hotspot 18 Bin for another songwriter showcase hosted by Hal Savar. But this time, it's bike night! With both an outdoor dining area and full-on stage, as well as an inside bar and a smaller stage, 18 Bin has a lot going on for it. You owe it to yourself to drop in if you're in the area. This time, the showcase coincided with a monthly bike night held at 18 Bin. Combine that with every act of the night being a full band, and this one promises to be a loud one. This video is brought to you by Canva. We'll hear more about them later, but for now, let's get on to today's video. Before the review, a quick note. If you'd like to be featured on a future showcase, contact Hal Savar using his social media handle that I put down in the description. That's also where you'll find all the other social media links for every act mentioned in this video, plus the link for the live stream. If you'd like to be featured on Room 6, hit me up using my email address or the Room 6 social media link down below as well. While you're down there, feel free to like, share, and subscribe to help me grow the channel and its support of local music everywhere. Thanks! Opening up the show was an old showcase favorite, Joe the Associate and his band. I remember seeing Joe play his music solo, and it's been great to see his act blossom into a full band. Billing himself as an original classic rock experience, he and his band really do channel the music of that genre. Throwing some quirky tongue-in-cheek lyrics makes their songs catchy, and a great way to start this great night of music. After Joe and the gang was the October, who closed the showcase the night before. Creating a melange of multiple influences, including grunge, shoegaze, alternative, and more, their songs are deep and introspective, and everything in between that you want from a band like this. Their set was upbeat, but with serious undertones, and the crowd was into it. Coming up next for the second time ever, ever was up next. Led by singer and keyboardist Melissa Bright, this group introduced some chill and mellow vibes to the night. Reminiscent of some 80s mood music, they lulled everyone into a nice, serene state that would put a great reset on the night. The next act was the unique and amazing Masters of Resonance. Featuring a screamo singer with face paint and a wig, and a dress, a trombonist who also sings and plays flute, a bassist dressed like a cop, and a keyboardist with a kick drum, this band truly embodies the Anything Goes philosophy. Following the mellowness of Ever, they came out swinging and grabbed the audience by its grateful throat. Once you see them live, you'll see what I mean, and you'll never be the same again. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. You know, people often underestimate the power of a well-designed graphic or a cohesive image for your entire project. That goes for YouTubers and for musicians. By now, you've probably heard of Canva, but have you heard of Canva Pro? Canva Pro is the design software that makes design simple, convenient, and reliable. Create what you need in no time. Jam-packed with time-saving tools that make anyone look like a professional designer. Just for watching this video and for being part of Room 6 and for a limited time only, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get a 30-day free trial. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to Canva for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show. Following an act like that, takes guts, but showcase newcomers Crow were up to the task. Blasting the doors off the place from the get-go, this band put on a clinic in straight-ahead rock and roll tinged with a little blues, a little prog rock, and a little something all their own. Taking the torch from every other band that played before them this evening, they proceeded to burn the stage down and left little doubt who they were and why they were there. Finishing out the night was a surprise addition and another new act to the showcase in the form of the Thomas Nicholas Band. A last minute addition to the show, Thomas and his band specialize in rock that's familiar and catchy, yet technically very impressive. It's obvious they're pros and this wasn't their first rodeo, and we were so glad they jumped on the bill to finish things out. Overall, the latest installment of the 18 Men Songwriter Showcase, hosted by Hal Savar, went great. I sincerely hope we'll return soon and I hope we'll see you there as well. If you can't make it in person, hop on the live stream. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll swing by 18 Bin if you're in the downtown Arts District area. And I hope that we'll see you another, you know, songwriter showcase, either in person or on the live stream. 
In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you'd like to subscribe, click over there. Don't forget to ring the bell. And if you want to hear my own music, click over there. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.